welcome to a new episode on Freediving Tribe. Uh, today we have Oma Leucci. Hello to everyone. Uh, Italian freediver. Um, some of you already know Oma from some uh, previous records he did. Um, probably some others don't. So, uh, thanks for having you. Uh, thanks for being here, taking the time. I'm very pleased to, to be here. Thank you too. And um, yeah, give uh, the audience a little uh, introduce yourself just quickly. I'm uh, Omar Leucci, I'm a free diver from uh, Italy. Uh, I, I am specialized in, uh, in depth uh, discipline. In fact, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm an old uh, uh, of uh, Plurio's uh, uh, record, for example, uh, free immersion, uh, no fins. Uh, and uh, constant weight. In fact, here in Sharm Sheikh, uh, I set uh, the last uh, Italian record uh, in 2019 with uh, 121 uh, um, meters. <laughs> wow. uh, uh, I'm training uh, a lot uh, in the pool as well uh, during the winter time, so I, I'm a free diver that not spend so much time uh, at the sea in, uh, in depth, uh, but uh, a lot of time and the most of time of the year in, uh, in pool and uh, dry, dry, uh, dry sports, dry, dry training. We will come later to, to yeah. your dry training. <laughs> so where are you from in Italy? So you have sea access or are you in the middle of... Uh... This is uh, another, another important thing uh, of mine because uh, I'm from Milan, the big city that everyone knows. Uh, and unfortunately in Milan there's no the sea uh, so for me it could be a really good uh, a really high problem that I solved uh, with uh, in fact uh, the pool training and uh, the art training uh, that I can uh, I can do in, uh, in gym so I, I can balance uh, so I train uh, for most of the year muscles and air and uh, I use uh, the depth uh, training uh, as adaptation of my body and equalization, of course. All right. I think you're 44, so yeah. you're already an <laughs> old freediver. I think you're one of the three probably well-known ones in, in Italy, like uh, by side Umberto uh, Pelizzari and uh, Davide Carrera. I think uh, one of the not old in terms of old by age, but um, yeah, long time competing and uh, long in the business. You're probably one of the top three, I believe. Huh? When was it the first time you competed? Uh, my first time was in uh, 2003. Uh, at the time, uh, I did uh, the first uh, competition uh, uh, for me. But uh, the following uh, year, I set uh, the first record in, uh, in the pool, 2004. Uh, and then in 2006, uh, I, I left uh, uh, the pool discipline uh, because I set uh, the first record of mine. I did uh, uh, 51 uh, no fins. At the time, was uh, a great uh, performance. And uh, um, since uh, that time, uh, I start with uh, a real depth training, uh, a real depth. Uh, 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 good training uh, and uh, even record. So year after year, now it's uh, the 18 uh, years that 18 I, years, yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> so it's uh, it's uh, it's very very long. If I if I stop myself for a moment uh, and I I'm watching uh, at the past, but uh, I'm very fond of free diving uh, and uh, up to 44 years. Uh, you have to, to notice uh, these things, that the, the last four or five uh, um, uh, agonistic athletic season uh, was the best for me. So probably as we, we talk about, uh, probably I waste uh, a lot of time. <laughs> but the experience uh, probably uh, drove me in uh, what kind of training choose, what kind of life. Uh, I, I understood how to, um, to choose uh, uh, the food, the right food for me, the right period, the right training. Uh, so probably in my case, uh, my, my mental uh, situation, so I'm a very competitive guy 
uh, and so I would like uh, to improve uh, my limits uh, day after day uh, and uh, push me to, to be uh, at the top uh, uh, with hard training uh, but uh, with hard motivation. Um, if I'm correctly informed, like by side or before you started freediving, you've been like into bodybuilding or something, or gym or private coach or something like this? And no, I, I, I became, uh, you became okay. in, uh, in my career because I started, uh, when I was young, I, I play soccer, like uh, the most of Italian people, and uh, I did uh, sweep, yeah, cliche, but then... Uh, uh, I was really, really strong even uh, in, in soccer, but uh, I left it out because I would uh, like something different. I, I love uh, uh, the sea, even if uh, I spent at the sea only the summertime. But my family came from the south of Italy, and you know what? Uh, all my family uh, is really far from the sea, so nobody introduced me at the sea. But uh, I loved it because uh, I watched uh, a great film, a big film in Italy by a great actor, uh, Franco Nero, and uh, it's named uh, Il Cacciatore di Squali, The, shark, uh, the Sharks Hunting, Hunter. And uh, I fell in love with this guy. Uh, I, will, I will put the, the movie into the description <laughs> so you can watch the movie. <laughs> it's fantastic. This guy that live uh, aside the sea in uh, in the beach uh, with his uh, his uh, wife uh, in, uh, in a sort of uh, uh, little house uh, and uh, to live uh, he, he hunted uh, the sharks. So that is a romantic uh, way of of my mind. Then I, I I take the romantic way because I was born in Milan. So Milan is a, is a city, no. Uh, so to 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 balance my my aim, my goal to live at the sea and my competitive uh, character, I pushed together and uh, was born a freediver. <laughs> I thought like spearfisher, but uh, are you spearfishing? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Sometimes. I use uh, spearfishing just to, to remember why I, would, I, 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 I want to stay so close to the sea. So sometimes uh, I took my spare gamma just to, to bring it uh, uh, in the sea because uh, I'm not a great spare fishing but uh, I spend four or five hours uh, and when I spare fishing like that uh, I, I feel really uh, my relationship with the sea so in fact when I came out from the sea I, I got another face we are relaxed really easy uh, even uh, without fish any fish but uh, only to stay with, with the sea for me, it's similar. I mean, I'm also spear fishing from time to time, and uh, I mean, I'm free diving also uh, a lot. But uh, going for spear fishing, even if I don't shoot anything, it's like a, a different kind of relaxation yeah. than than just going free diving. I think yeah, it's yeah. still for me, even if I just compare it with snorkeling, free diving the reef, um, it's still different compared to, to the to the hunting part. I'm, I'm even more relaxed. I don't know why. I mean, it's, it's more or less the same yeah. if I lay down in the sand without the gun or with the gun. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for me it's the same. So, uh, in fact, uh, when, when I spend time at the sea, I, I train a lot. So I use the spare fishing just to, to take uh, a break. Yeah, yeah. Distraction from, of uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. really distraction just to keep my my mind uh, at the sea. I throw my mind at the sea and my emotion. Uh, so in this way, yes, I okay. spare fish. <laughs> You've been from Italy, as you said, Milano. So last year we hit the pandemic. Um, I remember I was supposed to go to the UD show, the Y40 uh, um, open open day. Um, it was back and forth, um, it's gonna happen, it's not gonna happen, cancelled, yes, no, yes, no, and then finally it was cancelled and finally everything went quite quick. So I think in Italy you've been the first in Europe um, uh, who've been hit quite hard uh, by the yeah. pandemic and then, um, yeah, first uh, closing the restaurants, then closing the pools, closing the gyms, if I'm correct. And then uh, you already went, I think, end of March or, or April into full lockdown as, yeah. as one of the first, uh, first countries. Yeah. Um, how was it for you, as, you say, as you're saying, you're a competitive athlete and of course, I mean, 
I, I know you for some years now and I know you have goals in terms of uh, preparing for different kinds of competitions and everything. Um, back in that time we didn't know if any competition going to happen or if they're going to cancel. Everybody was like, um, yeah, maybe it's just a thing of two months and then everything is gone and we are back to normal. Um, how was it for you um, in terms of motivation um, and uh, also keeping yourself in shape. I mean, you, you told us uh, you're from a town, you're not a sea person, so your training is mainly based anyhow, not in the sea. Uh, you do it either way in the pool or somewhere in the gym or somehow. How did you adapt? Because pool's been closed, gym's been closed. Yeah. What was the <clears> way of, of keeping yourself in shape and also motivated? At the very beginning, uh, when the lockdown, the real and full lockdown uh, uh, arrived uh, in Italy, in Milan, uh, I, um, I had uh, to focus my attention of, uh, on two aspects of my, my, my athlete careers and my athlete side. The first was uh, a mental one, so I, have to, uh, I had to, to focus uh, my mind because uh, as you told, told uh, before, uh, the first problem was uh, to set uh, an, a goal. Because without competition, uh, everything crashed down. Exactly, uh, I had the same. Like my goal was to do uh, like my personal PB in, in April, where I really train hard, and uh, two three months nearly, and then everything. Yeah. And I fall into a big hole. In fact, uh, I would like uh, to arrange uh, suddenly a, a, a record, an individual record. So I, I put myself on the phone and try to arrange uh, suddenly uh, an attempt at the end of September because at the end of September the Mediterranean Sea is good and, uh, and then I phone to Calabria uh, where I settled the, the most part of the year during summer where uh, last, uh, next year I'm going to uh, open uh, uh, the first uh, free diving, uh, diving in, uh, in Italy, all dedicated to, to free diving. Uh, but at the time, uh, I, I just phoned to uh, politics, uh, to region, uh, uh, to save one event. Because, uh, okay, I'm an athlete, but I work even like with, uh, with free diving. So for me, it was really important. Then it was most important as a goal, because as you told before, my career is not going against the future. But uh, I'm 44 years old, so it's normal that my career, probably now it's in a plateau, but soon or less or far, but I have to, to decrease my performance and um, I'm not uh, in shape like uh, uh, 10 years ago. So for me, it's really important to maintain uh, uh, the, um, the physical skills, uh, but even uh, uh, mental skills. So this probably boosts my, myself uh, and uh, I say to myself, uh, okay, uh, each season uh, could be the last. So you have to focus your attention uh, and so uh, even the COVID uh, must be a booster for you, not uh, something uh, uh, on what you can fight against, because you, you know. And the problem is often like, I mean, for a competition, let's say like September is uh, a big competition, okay, now you know, okay, now is the time to prepare for September, yeah. but if you don't know there will be a competition, you can't keep yourself all the time on the peak, uh, because you will overtrain at one certain point and um, so, uh, in fact, uh, I, at the end, uh, I, I didn't do <laughs> the record because uh, of pandemic uh, situation. But for me, it was enough uh, only to have the idea. Yeah. So to have the goal. So I yeah. focused my attention on the end of September, and uh, I did uh, what uh, I could at the time. So my terrace was completely changed in uh, a gym uh, with uh, some uh, uh, gear. Uh, that uh, normally I use uh, because uh, uh, I'm uh, famous uh, just uh, to be uh, a strong athlete. Uh, uh, I'm a free diver, but I used to train a lot uh, outside the water. 
uh, in gym, uh, like running. Uh, so the other athletes sometimes say to me, Ma, what, uh, you spare your time uh, in dry exercise, but in pandemic, for example, so during you, the you COVID... You you waste your time in dry exercise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but not because uh, uh, it was uh, a sort of... Uh, um, save time not waste time no i mean i uh, totally agree i mean uh, this is something where many people uh, without c access um, which they already knew like yeah. you can properly train without getting into the water or getting into the depths and can simulate still at home and making progress but now i think uh, due to the pandemic it's more known to to uh, the main audience like to the to to everybody okay that this is a a, a way For how sure. to train without going into the sea before it was like okay if i want to go deep i need to go to the sea if yeah, i don't go perfect. to the sea i can't go deep and um if it was a chance for for all uh, to understand that uh, the training that we, we we can do is not only for example for a uh, uh, free diving depth uh, there's not only the sea there is only the sp uh, there is uh, even uh, the spinning there is even uh, the yeah, stairs. you do a lot of spinning huh? yes because uh, normally mm -hmm. i used to, to run uh, because i love running uh, the same idea of uh, freedom that uh, uh, close me to the uh, um, purpose of uh, free diving for me so uh, the freedom for me is uh, really important so the idea to run uh, uh, where well, I don't know, but the important is to go and then go back, uh, just to have my heartbeat on the watch uh, and see if, uh, uh, even uh, without a goal, uh, without a aim, without a place uh, where I get. So during the pandemic, I have to turn these uh, qualities, to the, uh, turn this uh, aerobic training, uh, but uh, I, I didn't want to, to lose the aerobic training, so I. I um, I bought uh, a spinning and I put on the terrace, of course, and uh, I, I change the running side with the spinning side. I change uh, my normal uh, dynamic training in uh, holding breath while uh, uh, running uh, or in, in the stairs or uh, uh, apnea walking, so yep. free diving yep. during walk. Yep. So I change. Um, uh, my timetable and my schedule of the training of per week in dry week training. Uh, and you know what? I trained uh, more because with the, the pool closed and with the gym closed, my work at the time was closed. So I, I, I had the chance to dedicate myself properly at the training. So I, I eat at the same time. Uh, so I did uh, one train uh, during the morning, then I relaxed myself, I eat again, uh, then I train the second time, I eat and I go to bed, sleep. During the normal time uh, it's not uh, so easy for me because uh, I, um, I do classes, because uh, I do free diving uh, for uh, in, in my living, life, like yeah, a, a yeah, job for also, living. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and this uh, another important way that I changed. Eh? because uh, I found uh, really, really uh, good um, uh, do classes, uh, do courses, uh, even uh, online. So uh, it was a great experience for me, but uh, both in Italy and uh, in an international way, it was really amazing. And uh, actually I, I, I do uh, both. So I, I do classes and course one-to-one vis-a-vis, -one, uh, uh, at the same time, I do a lot of uh, uh, free diving course or free diving lesson uh, online, so by web, and this is, was uh, another great chance. So um, yes, uh, the, the pandemic uh, period, uh, um, I, I learned a lot, a lot from the pandemic uh, period. Uh, just. Uh, to uh, see things uh, in other side uh, and uh, uh, apply myself in a different way in a different situation okay so you adapted in terms of gym's been closed pool's been closed you uh, created your own gym at home exactly uh, spinning and uh, yeah we saw you've been uh, doing a lot of <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Using some kettlebell and everything. Uh, exactly. What is available? Uh, squats, uh, um, um, jumping jacks, whatever is um, with yes. breath hold, without breath hold. Um, okay. Do you think right now already, or do you have the feeling like it already paid out? Yeah. For me, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, I, I, during that period, uh, I lost something uh, uh, for sure in terms of uh, a water technique. Because, you know, as a, a water athlete, uh, for sure, for us, uh, it's really important, the water. The element in which uh, we are trying to move. Uh, and so the technique uh, training, uh, for sure, was... Uh, a little bit uh, uh, less than uh, of usual. Of course. I mean, I see you uh, from time to time doing a lot of work in the pool, if the pool is open, uh, like with the monofin, uh, front snorkel, and just uh, exactly. trying to do uh, technique, uh, moving the hips, the hip rotation. and. Uh, but a level of uh, air, so at the level of pure free diving, so holding breath, and uh, uh, for sure, uh, for the aerobic training, uh, an aerobic training uh, and muscles, uh, I grow uh, a little bit. Uh, you also do the uh, BCS uh, by Alicia. The... Yes, as well. In fact, uh, that was, uh, you know, when uh, you are at the top for many years, uh, you have to uh, try some different way and then uh, taste uh, if it's okay then you have, you, you have to be smart to um, leave aside if it's not working or take and uh, make it yours if uh, you are supposed to, uh, it's supposed to be useful for yeah. you. And so uh, this kind of, of training, uh, I, I pointed out that it was uh, useful for me uh, because uh, of, for example, uh, so just to clarify, the BCS is a uh, uh, back uh, chest stretching protocol by uh, Alice and Andrea Zucari. So it's, we're talking about laying on the bridge and stretching your back, your chest. Yeah, uh, the first, uh, uh, the first uh, good aspect from that kind of training is that the posture, for sure. Yep. And for me that uh, I swim a lot uh, in uh, crawl. And normally, if you swim a lot uh, as a crawl, normally your posture try to, to close because uh, your shoulder try to yeah. in, uh, inside out. Uh, on the contrary, uh, the back swimming open your chest much more than the the, the crawl. Uh, the gym as well. Even if you do a lot of uh, uh, push up, not uh, only with the, with the heavy. Uh, weight, uh, but only the push-up, uh, because of the function of the, the pectoral, is uh, to close your shoulder and uh, pick uh, it uh, just close to the to the chest. So uh, I do a lot of uh, push-up. So normally I can find myself in this position. So the first thing uh, that the BCS uh, exercise. Uh, uh, boost me is the, the posture, so uh, open my chest. Another thing really important is that normally I use uh, to stay in this uh, position either in monofin and bifins, so help me a lot uh, to the stretching of uh, the shoulder. And uh, for sure, and uh, in last instance, uh, even in terms of uh, uh, space of, uh, of lungs, of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. So I I use now to, to train with uh, with that uh, uh, thing because uh, I found it uh, really really important for me more than yoga than other practice that I not use because I use stretching uh, for sure in the past I used uh, yoga I tried uh, but uh, uh, I used to to stretch myself. Yeah. No, I, I do the same and I feel uh, the same like you're describing, like um, the flexibility, the, the posture and uh, yeah, actually gaining more vital capacity. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, let's uh, get to a different kind of question. So I think we're getting close to an end. Um, yeah. What I ask everybody is like uh, name 
your top uh, free diving experience? Like, what is your your the best moment you ever had? It can be free diving, as you said. You also go spear fishing, even if you don't shoot anything. <laughs> you're not good at it. It can be anything, just water related. It can be not not water related. Uh, somehow free diving, holding your breath related. It can even be uh, in a competition. It can be just on a reef. It can be an encounter with dolphins or whale sharks or whatever. Do you have something? What do you say? Like, uh, well, probably well, this is my best memory. Uh, yes, I felt it uh, during a dream, during the night, because the sensation that I got uh, twice, uh, and probably I got uh, only one uh, in uh, in real free diving, uh, is to have uh, uh, enough air to stay there long and long but feel really okay because in free diving you know there is two moments the first moment is uh, the the moment in which uh, you can say to yourself i can stay here forever but then the first contraction talk talk you have to breathe again and then mm, yeah, you're back mm. to reality so <laughs> it's not <Yeah>. forever <laughs> during that uh, that moment uh, during that dream uh, i i didn't have uh, the, the necessity to to come back to uh, to breathe again and I stay there and stay there and stay there and off for sure I set the, the, the world record and I beat the, 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 the world record before about 100 meters and so on only, only one time I was in static training and I felt the sensation the emotion of dreaming so probably uh, I, I felt uh, sleep but um, I, I, I could uh, leave that sensation just for a while but then uh, the fear of being in statics and to be uh, falling asleep uh, yes was uh, stronger than the sensation of ah I'm fantastic so that uh, to Two sensations that uh, I hope that uh, all free divers try to to feel once. No, do not have uh, the any, urge to breathe yeah, and just stay and just as long stay as, you. as dolphins as waves. <laughs> I have so much time that I I, I do not uh, think about uh, breathe again. Okay, so yours was a dream. <laughs> yes, yeah, only okay. a dream. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, um, actually in, in Switzerland I uh, know one, uh, one woman, uh, she a couple of times fall asleep in static. Yeah? Yeah, what? she really, like you yeah, had to wake her, to shake, yeah. her, shake her up and uh, Really, <laughs> she, she was able to, I never, I never had the, the sensation like falling asleep. Maybe one yes, time. Yes, it's good for a while. I, remember I believe so, while. It's, it's the best. I mean, uh, you're distracted, you don't think about anything. Anything. Yeah? You are really, really just relaxed because you are really... But, uh, okay, I, I felt it for, for a while in reality and uh, during a dream. What was the dream? <laughs> okay, uh, next question will be name the top three free diving places for you. Like all over the world, I mean you're 44 years old, so probably you saw something around the world. What would be your favorite places for free diving? So name the top three. You can say like in chronological order, like mm -hmm. one, two, three, or just name three and say like, okay, this, this, and this. Okay, if uh, I had to to choose, I put them in the in the same uh, in the same uh, place. Uh, so for sure, I love uh, Shame Sheikh because ensure me not only. Uh, the weather condition of the sea, so the warm condition, but even because uh, I got uh, um, the pool just close to the sea, so even in that period uh, I, I used to uh, to train myself in the pool. So in Sharm El Sheikh at the free diving world, uh, I, I found this uh, uh, this uh, great situation, um, and for sure at free diving world. Uh, uh, I'm very happy to because it's uh, like uh, my my Egyptian family <laughs> with Andrea Zuccari, with Alice, and with Tito. So uh, I feel uh, like home. Uh, home, in fact, uh, the second place uh, 
uh, but not in order of importance, is for sure my, my own place in Italy, in the south of Italy, Soverato, in Calabria, where I live uh, uh, the summertime from uh, June to September, uh, and where I decided uh, to set uh, uh, the first free diving uh, just for free diving uh, in, uh, in Italy. School? Uh, uh, the school, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, and third, uh, the Bahamas. Uh, because uh, at the blue hole, uh, okay, you, you can find the same condition all the day, no current, no, uh, no waves, but uh, I hate uh, a little bit uh, the dark side of the blue hole, so, but uh, the condition for, for free diving and to set record uh, uh, for sure uh, um, are good, so uh, for me it's good, even if uh, I ate the same fly as well and I got some problem with them. So but anyway, so at the top I put uh, Italy, Calabria for, for sure. But then uh, the other two places are really, are really important for me as well. In uh, Calabria you're going to open your school this summer, is the, is yes, the idea? Yes, uh, the idea uh, is uh, that uh, to set uh, an important uh, uh, diving uh, uh, for athletes and uh, for, uh, for courses, so for an important uh, school diving. And the project is uh, to, to stay open from May to, uh, to November because uh, of the great condition of that uh, uh, seaside because we got a bay. So um, the weather condition is okay. So the only wind that normally uh, can put uh, in uh, one week uh, uh, aside, uh, it could be uh, one only, only day that you can skip no? uh, your training because you know Mediterranean is not uh, is a, uh, a true sea so if you uh, choose uh, that week uh, you, you can't uh, know before uh, what uh, the weather condition at the sea uh, you can find and in Soverato because of the bay uh, we got uh, the depth protected. is protected by the wind uh, and the waves so I, I can ensure to, to, to stay in the water all, all the time that you spend uh, there and so, you're gonna you're gonna have a full setup there like a yes boat platform or what is the idea yes the idea is to have uh, uh, two cable fixed at uh, 30 and 40 meters uh, the second place uh, uh, really uh, protected by the sea is a platform fixed uh, on uh, 80 meters, 90 meters. You can reach uh, the platform by fins uh, or even with pedalo. Uh, so you can, yeah, you, you are in a completely ecological way to, to leave the sea. So you can uh, reach uh, the platform and uh, even... Uh, you have enough uh, parking spots on the platform? Yeah, <laughs> uh, and then uh, for for depth more uh, of 100 meters, uh, we got a uh, completely uh, set uh, boat with uh, recovery system, uh, all the safety uh, reason um, stuff. For example, the scooter and so on. So each uh, each depth uh, is covered by uh, by by the diving. So Sounds the project good. is good. Then because the aim is uh, not only to, uh, to set the school over there, but even uh, to, um, to do an important uh, uh, international competition, because uh, we in Italy, we miss, uh, no? we are missing uh, an important comp. Uh, yeah, a big free diving country and uh, yeah. more or less no, no deaths competitions. So. In fact, this is a great project, but uh, not this year, but the following years, so I'm sure that uh, uh, I'm going to succeed uh, in organize uh, the first competition. Probably the nice. first would be uh, under invitation and then was open, uh, it would be open. Uh, just to know, uh, the first time to have uh, uh, a little group uh, of athletes just to set and to check uh, that all things uh, are good and then uh, do uh, open uh, competition and you, you never know probably world record european uh, world championship european championship uh, so it could be good no in yeah. italy good food uh, good place good food of course yes <laughs> i agree good life all right good 
Um, yeah, more or less, we are coming to an end. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Zoo. Nice having you here. Very pleased to, um, to be here. I will leave uh, his uh, Instagram account below, so you can follow him on Instagram or even on Facebook. Um, yeah. And uh, do not forget to follow the channel, Kaluna Freediver, and uh, all uh, this interview and the other, uh, other things uh, in Facebook, in the social. Uh, so follow us. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Grazie mille. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.